assalamu alaikum today we'll be seeing how we can simulate Arduino turtle in proteus so this is basically a simple line following robot uh, that can be very easily uh, simulated in proteus and uh, we'll see the basic examples uh, that are available in the proteus and then we'll try to modify that example and uh, get the manual controls for that particular robot so we'll open the sample projects and we'll write uh, turtle here P -U -R -T -L -E, turtle. so these are the application um, that are designed on the uh, turtle robot so let's see these examples one by one and see what we can do with these examples in order to understand uh, the basic controls given for this turtle uh, then in future videos we'll try uh, to program this with our own controller so this is the example that is given and the program is written in uh, visual designer so the component of a virtual turtle is uh, available for simulation let's run the simulation uh, the path for the simulation is stored inside the turtle and this uh, path can be changed as well so you can see this is a simple uh, line following robot uh, this is basically a uh, bitmit image uh, that can be edited in the uh, ms paint as well so let's see what's the control of these uh, turtles robot so you can see it has uh, basically a sonar sensor um, and we can identify the pins by using uh, these tools You can just click here and you will know the pins and their associated functions so uh, this is the servo pin uh, servo control pin this is the sonar trigger pin and this is the sonar echo pin uh, will give some pulses here and uh, the echo will be captured by the controller pin and the servo will be giving the pulses uh, for this uh, motor servo motor on which uh, this uh, sonar sensor is incorporated so these are our motor pins let's see this is the in one pin this is the in two pin and this is the enable pin similarly these are the pins for the, um, the right hand side so you can these pins this will work uh, in similar fashion you can see the controls and then we have the sensors three sensors are placed in this robot T1 left sensor, T1 right sensor, these are the sensors. So you can identify the pins and let's see the controls of uh, these pins. We'll delete those after identifying the pins and their appropriate functions. So we need to remember the uh, lower pin in this field is basically the enable pin for the drive circuitry and left right and sensor okay so let's connect back these pins so in order to uh, run this thing uh, we can basically use the logic toggle logic toggle you can give the inputs and try to run this robot manually
so we can connect this pin in order to identify the control for this robot and then see how it runs so let's run the simulation now the control is manual so we need to enable and it's moving in one direction and if you want to run the other motor now you can play with these uh, pins and identify the controls and make a truth table uh, for the control of this robot and then particularly control your IOS digital IOS in similar fashion uh, to operate this robot uh, through a microcontroller uh, notice that the green lights uh, basically show uh, when the line is uh, detected and the status of these lights are basically depicted in this um, uh, these sensors that are available here and we can identify these sensors as well <coughs> so uh, for higher level controls uh, um, we can also see these pins are available I think we can attach an oscilloscope here and see the signals that are basically uh, coming from the robot so you can see these signals we can just open this sample project again and see which type of pulses are coming so let's go towards the oscilloscope this pin is uh, for the servo motor control signal this is for the signal that is coming as an input to our microcontroller and this is basically the trigger signal that is being generated by the microcontroller in order to give a pulse to the sonar sensor so let's run and see what type of signals we can we um, see so yellow signal is basically the trigger pin trigger pin that is generating the sonar signal and the blue pin is basically the pulse width signal that is detecting the obstacle and you can see the pulse width uh, is changing if the obstacle is detected and the uh, red pin is the servo motor pin so um, we can alternatively uh, hack these uh, control signals as well um, and then control the robot with our own uh, control system so um, we have modified the code uh, and uh, added some control signals and we have um, added a serial monitor here to control this uh, through a serial port this is a hyper terminal you can get this virtual terminal from this block set connect this with the mega and uh, the code is such that um, we can control by pressing L uh, key for the left and uh, we will define the IO pins um, and if we uh, press the L it will move towards uh, again one side or uh, with the other side we uh, press F it will move forward and if we press S it will stop in the virtual terminal this is uh, like a serial terminal uh, as similar uh, as in Arduino so let's run this code and we'll see so this uh, robot is initially stop if we press L this will move on one side if we move F 
will move try to move forward if you move b it will move back if you move uh, press s it will stop and uh, for forward definitely it will move forward so this is now control uh, through the Arduino Mega Arduino you can uh, use it to control with Arduino Ono or any controller that you wish so um, this is basically a turtle robot that can easily um, be used to test your control algorithms and uh, you can change the um, picture from this option and this uh, picture is basically generated in uh, paint MS paint you can change the picture as you desire to do so if you want to add or remove a path you can easily do that and uh, generate your own control algorithm let's say I'm removing this path here because this was a loop here so let me remove this thing as well let's save it okay let's see if the changes are updated or not you can see the changes are updated so you can generate your own custom path in the MS Paint and try to there run this uh, robot. So in future videos we'll uh, run this robot with an uh, Arduino code and try to develop the algorithm um, through which this program can be executed and our algorithm can be tested in the simulation environment. So thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.